Hi guys, it's Brittany, Locked Queen Bee, and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so let's get into it. In this video, I am going to be trying to figure out what my hair type is. So, I have a very unique situation. So, as you guys know, in um, December of 2019, I actually cut off all of my locks. So, I have a new set in today. Obviously, I don't want to undo anything so that I can figure out what my hair type is. So, to help me figure out, I'm actually going to use my old set of locks that I still have. So, let's get into it. So, for this video, I'm actually going to focus on two things that I have going on. So, one, the first thing is an experiment to figure out what my hair type is. And to do that, I'm going to use two different locks. The second thing that I have going on is not necessarily an experiment, but it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is clean my old set of locks. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you what I'm doing for my old set of locks. So for my old set of locks, I actually have them sitting in these two Gladware containers, um, plastic containers, and what I am doing is I am letting my hair sit and soak in ACV and water. Prior to the step, what I did was I filled both containers with water and a little bit of swabs um, clarifying shampoo just to um, shampoo my locks. Then I dumped the water out and the water surprisingly was quite dirty. Obviously it's been six months since that last step was washed and I do not recall if I washed it prior to cutting it. So after I um, shampooed my hair, what I then did was I filled these containers up again with ACV and water. So, so basically what I'm doing here is I'm just really trying to clean my locks, get rid of any buildup, and then I will um, dump the water out, give them another rinse with water, and then let them dry. Okay, so what I'm doing in this part of the video is I am basically taking down a lock. And the reason why I am doing this is because um, I'm not sure which section of my hair this lock is from. It could be from the front, it could be from the back, it could be from the crown or the nape. I'm not really sure. So I do want to have two locks that I can basically compare to each other. So I already took one down off camera and what I'm going to do is um, take down the second one in front of you guys. And this is a lock that I just um, freshly washed, so it should be a little bit softer and easier to um, work through. So let's get started. So the tools that I have, I have a comb, a rat tail comb. The end will help me to the, to take down the lock. And then I also have this push pin. So you guys just saw me take down one of my um, locks from my old set that I cut off in December 2019. And so the second lock was much easier to take down than the first lock that I took down off camera. The first lock I did dry and um, with the same tool to push pin and the wrap tail comb. And it just took a lot longer and it wasn't um, a fun process. The second lock was um, much more fun. Um, the comb was gliding through my hair a lot smoother than it was the first time around. And in general, what I was um, sort of surprised by with this takedown was one, how shiny my hair looked and how soft it looked. And this is six months after I last did anything with my hair. So that was amazing to see. Something that I wasn't happy to see was obviously how much buildup I had in my locks as I was taking them down. And um, obviously I'm not sure when I 
cut my hair when was the last time I shampooed it so that is why I decided to go ahead and clean this setup off just so that the hair is clean and I feel good about keeping it um, for a little bit longer. So, okay, so for the next part of this experiment what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what my hair type is. So as I was saying, I just took down one lock so that I have um, two locks to compare. So I already started the experiment off camera with this lock and so we're going to go through the experiment again with this lock and then just compare the two locks. So what I'm going to do is, this one is already wet, so what I'm going to do is wet this one and I'm also going to use a little bit of shampoo just so that the locks are clean and it's just nothing but hair. So let's get into that process. So you just saw me wash these two um, locks with Swab's Clarifying Shampoo and I actually used quite a bit of shampoo and my hair I believe doesn't really like it. So um, I had to stretch this out because it clumped up together and there's a lot of shrinkage and for me when I did have even with this type of hair um, for just the same texture when I use too much swabs um, clarifying shampoo, it does um, dry my hair out and strip it of moisture. So if I were to do, if I were to use swabs um, a second time, I think my hair would be in worse shape than what it is now. And to test that, I'm actually going to go ahead and wash this another round with swabs. You could see that I did something a little bit different. I made sure to keep the hair stretched instead of rolling it in a little ball as I was doing the first time around. And in, as you can see, my hair actually has clumped together and this is something that I wasn't expecting to see. Um, in terms of how my hair feels, I think it still feels soft. Um, I don't feel like it's dry or anything like that, but um, you can see, definitely see curl definition um, after shampooing my hair. Hmm. It doesn't feel dry like I was anticipating it to feel, but that is totally fine. So now I'm just squeezing any water out. And so what I'm going to do from this point is I'm only going to put um, product in one lock and then I'm going to let this dry and on camera I won't be able to show you the results of this experiment but what I will do is take a picture so that you can see the difference in the two locks. Obviously we know that we need to factor in that we don't know where my head these two locks came from so they could be two different textures and thus react differently. So one lock, this lock on the right will have product on it and this one on the left won't have product on it and then once these locks are dry, we will compare and see how they look. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the process of me putting Can 2's um, Twist and Lock Gel. This is what I was using before I started this new set of locks. This is how much I'm using and I'm probably going to use a lot more. This is just what I'm going to start with. And it's really amazing to see how long my hair is from here 
down, that's a pretty good amount of blend. Grab a little bit more. And the reason why I am being so liberal with this product is because it's not a product that I am currently using. So um, if I don't use it, it's going to go to waste, basically. I don't think anyone else in my family um, uses this product. So it's there for me to use for this experiment. So I think that is a good amount of product. And you can see that there's a lot more definition. So already you can see that there's a difference in the two. And you can also see what my curls look like. So initially I, okay, so you can actually see that there's, let me put this left lock down. So with this lock, what you see is you see these curls, right? At the bottom, you see spirals. So let me hold it up. So you can see spirals right there. You can see it's very circular at the end. This portion right here is very spiral. Whereas the upper portion, so this portion right here of the lock is very zigzaggy. And then this portion down here is very spirally. So this is very interesting and not something that I was expecting to see within one lock. So this is very interesting. So actually, I'm curious to see what will happen with the other lock, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and put product um, on the other one. Okay, so this is the left lock. This is the one that we just shampooed and um, we didn't put any product on it. So you can see that it's already kind of frizzy. There's um, some curl definition. Um, I don't know if it will shrink up more. It's not completely dry. It's not completely dry. It's still damp, but you can see that there's some um, curl pattern to it. Um, hmm. I'm curious to see what it will do. So let me grab a blow dryer and see if we can blow dry this and change any of the texture or how this lock looks. So this is my blow dryer. Um, it's not in great shape. The last time that I used this was um, to put in my last set of lock, which I did in December um, 2017. So I've not really used this one in a really long time. So let's blow dry it. You can see that my hair, um, it springs a little bit, but it's very stiff and it actually doesn't look very healthy, actually. I wonder if that is because of how much um, suave shampoo I use, but I actually really do not like the way that my hair looks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet it and then I'm going to put um, the um, hand to twist and lock gel on it to see what happens. Okay, so I just um, wet this lock and we can see that there's a little bit of bounce back to this one. And we're going to put a little bit of product in to start and go from there. I'm going to put a little bit more product in. Okay, so we can see that there are a little bit of differences in this um, lock compared to the other one. So this has that permanent, not that permanent, it has that consistent zigzag pattern throughout this whole entire section and the other um, lock, this, the ending, the end of the lock was spirally and we don't see that happening here. So 
So I believe that in um, both of these locks we have similar texture but also possibly two um, different textures because they are not reacting in the same way. So this makes me curious about what my hair type is. So let's grab the other one. So for comparison, so we can see that this lock has started to shrink a little bit. Um, it's nowhere near as long as the one over here. And um, obviously it's because it's drying and there's shrinkage um, as a factor. So you can already see the differences in the two sections of hair. Um, as I was saying earlier, they have like the Z-shaped the Z um, curl and the end of one lock is spirally and the other lock is it didn't clump together at all. There wasn't anything different that I did between these two locks. I rubbed the product in the same way and my hair um, kind of reacted in a similar way but um, there was one noticeable difference. So I'm going to let these dry some more. So now the next part of this is figuring out what the heck my hair type is. So, um, obviously there's a hair typing system, you're either one, type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Obviously I'm black, so I'm going to be either a 3 or a 4. I'm doing some research and I was actually having a conversation with my sister. We are both curious as to what our hair type is. We know that we have type 4 hair, but we don't know if it's 4A, 4B, or 4C. And to be honest, when you look at the hair typing chart, does it really seem very clear how to tell which hair type I have. So I had to do a lot of research to figure this out and it's because there's so many similarities and it's just really hard to say, hey, that's how my hair looks, that's how my hair reacts, this is what my hair is, or my hair is that. So for me, it was very hard to basically look at the chart and say, hey, my hair is this type and go from there. So um, from the research that I did, I use YouTube and I read this comment on a video about your hair type and figuring out what it is and the comment stuck me because it said um, if you have 4B hair basically your hair when wet or has it has product on it it reacts like 4A hair meaning it has a spiral but once that hair dries it dries either undefined or kinky and I know that from the wash and goes that I did in the past, my hair, when I, when it was wet, when I put product in it, it was very defined, but once it dried, the definition was gone. So that struck a chord with me because that is what my hair has done in the past when I was a loose natural. The other thing that stuck out to me is that it said for, for C hair, um, it basically didn't, it was just like a wet kind and it didn't really react in any way. So I feel like from just doing the research that I've been doing, that one comment and this experiment that we just did together, I feel like my hair fits in the 4B category. I'm not sure what you guys feel from watching this video or your own knowledge about hair types, but if you have an idea of what you think my hair type is, feel free to comment down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. What I'm going to do to wrap up and show you the results of this experiment is I'm going to take a picture of my hair when it dries so you can see um, how it looks with the product on it and in a dried state. I'm also going to finish my second experiment of washing my locks so that going forward I have a clean set of locks to remember my first set by. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell the locks or if I'm just going to throw them out, what I'm going to do with them, but I do know that I've been wanting to clean them for a while and I'm so happy that I have the time to do that now. And to wrap up, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions or feedback for me, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>